Concordia Greenhouse is just a really special place. And come in. The Epic Houseplant Sale. It's a frenzy, but it's a lot of fun. It's low maintenance and cute, so. It's accessible to everybody, so it's the great equalizer of greenhouses. <laughs> Culture. 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 So you're going to see a lot of house plants for sale. Is there a rare plant here that you are going to sell this time around? Yes. So this is a common name Madagascar Jewel, or scientific name Euphorbia Lucanura. This is a plant that is vulnerable in the wild at the moment. It's not necessarily rare, uh, it's just a little bit hard to find. Probably on a good year I have about a thousand plants altogether. Here the houseplant project, we do propagate and grow our own houseplants vegetatively uh, through stem cuttings. So I'm selling plants that I've propagated in house. So how unique is this greenhouse? It's extremely unique for a couple of reasons. It is a publicly accessible greenhouse. The other big thing is that it's a rooftop greenhouse in the city center uh, of Montreal. In a, a larger greenhouse of this size, the public may not be allowed to come in for various reasons. This is unique in that way. If anyone needs a plant to put in their apartment, uh, students want a plant for their dorm, they can come up here, they can get a good price from us. We're looking at 70, 80, 90% cheaper than what you would get elsewhere. Last year, I bought plants for really cheap, so I'm very excited to buy more plants that are, and I find that they are very original, the ones that they have here. I think that they're just really interested in plants. There's not a lot of green space in the city, especially in the winter time <laughs> where it's cold. So they like to come up in this space and they like to get involved. The Cordia Greenhouse does have a mission to help people learn about plants, whether it be urban agriculture, indoor tropicals. Every program that we have is open to the students and the public. We have another program called Four Seasons Growing. Four Seasons Growing is a program where interns um, learn how to grow all four seasons long. In the winter time, we have a program of growing microgreens, herbs, and baby greens. We grow four different kinds, sunflower microgreens, pea shoots, buckwheat, and radish. Something like microgreens tend to be a very niche and very expensive product, so it's often not very accessible for students. So this is a way for students to be able to have access to very nutrient-rich greens. We harvest approximately 40 trays per week. Da, 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 da. The varieties we grow are very quick varieties, so it takes approximately seven to 10 days to grow um, a tray of microgreens like this. Um, undergrads are our primary focus. However, we don't just limit to undergrads. We want it to be accessible for all members of the community. So members of the community are more than welcome to come and volunteer to get some experience. The Four Seasons program has been pretty amazing for me. Like I love being up here and learning about the production of microgreens. We sell at our farmers markets on Wednesdays and then we also have a CSA program, meaning people will subscribe to a 14 week program of greens and receive a bag every week. Also, a group called the Concordia Food Coalition came together and wanted to reinvent food distribution on campus. So they came up with the Hive Cafe. So it's a really great student-run cafe that is located just 12 floors downstairs. One of our goals and our mission is to work as much as possible with local suppliers and distributors so it doesn't get much more local than having our sprouts for our salad grown uh, 10 floors above us on the top floor of this building. The cost of transportation is completely reduced. They uh, bring the greens just straight down the elevator and this isn't something that's very possible often in our food systems where our food is often coming from South America, from New Zealand, but here they have an opportunity to see their food growing and then to consume their food right directly below in the cafe. It's really good. I like that it's fresh and it's from the Concordia Greenhouse, which uh, means that it's student run and it's local. We're getting further and further away from touching our food, growing our food, to touching the soil, learning how to be food sovereign. I think it's really important to learn 
sustainable ways of producing food because it's just life. <laughs>